Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Atrian Odyssey Untold. So, I was intending to off-screen killing dragonflies until I got enough bug nests to complete one of our outstanding quests, because just watching me run around killing dragonflies would be super boring. And I am doing that, but in the middle of doing that, I just on a whim checked out this part of the map that I had already marked as complete. And it's telling me you stand before the hole you found the empty giant crab shell in. And now I'm thinking, is this where I have to go to complete that quest about a crab sample? Hey. And it looks like the answer is yes. That is a little insidious because we'd already had an event here. And so I marked it as complete. That was quite misleading. I guess just misleading of me more than the game, really. The game kind of gave me a hint about it. But it looks like that was the answer to that conundrum, and it had nothing to do with the the faux crabs, the, the aquatic maulers or whatever they're called, that are just waiting around in the water. So, mystery solved. And now, back to wandering around, killing dragonflies till we have enough bug nests for the other quests. Oh, finally. That was very tedious. That seems to be a relatively uncommon drop. I had to kill a lot of dragonflies to get these darn bug nests. Farming for rare or even just uncommon drops is probably one of my least favorite things in RPGs. Because it's just random, it's out of your control. You have no choice but to just do the same thing over and over and over, hoping for a certain outcome that is just, it's out of your control when it happens. Is it's my least favorite thing. And this didn't even take that long. I don't know, 10 minutes? There are some things, I'm not talking about Etrian Odyssey in particular, but there are some RPGs where you have to farm for hours trying to get a certain item, and that's horrible gameplay. I don't know, some people seem to enjoy it, which is weird to me. I mean, I'm not saying I have anything against you if you're one of the people who enjoy it. That's great. Have at it, but I, I can't relate to that. Oh my gosh, it's tedious. But thank goodness that's done. Now let's uh, complete one more quest, uh, and that's going to be down here. It should be finding uh, Austin again. So I will join you down there in the southeast corner of uh, B14. As long as I'm here, I just realized uh, it doesn't look like I've mapped whatever is on the other side of this flower, so let's check it out. Okay, so it's a one-way trip, which I guess we could have figured from the fact that we didn't see a flower on the other side of the destination. Okay, and then a one-way trip back, I guess. What was the point of this tiny little island? Is there anything here? I feel something nearby. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, that was strange. Alright, from here we should be able to make it over to the southeast. And from our deciphering of the note, this should be where we find the detective. We'll strike them down. Oh, another thing that I'm completing while I'm here is Rosa's request to kill scissor crabs. So, you know, more farming, or grinding, as it were. The scissor crabs don't appear to be a particularly rare enemy, so I don't think that request will be too difficult to fulfill. Fingers crossed. This is already the second one that I've fought, and I've only been down here again for a couple minutes. Man, that thing is nasty. It's still nasty, even now. Good lord, just die. Austin? Huh? Oh? 
Nice. No, I'm not going to talk to him. <laughs> Why would I say no? Mm. Uh, no. Hmm. You're okay with that, right? Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Does the ink lure monsters? Enough. Interesting. Oh, very well. I mean, we've killed so many monsters at this point. Do you think I'm scared of uh, another group of them? Oh, this looks like it could be a pretty nasty group, though. I'll admit it. Let's kill the swordfish first do some boosted defense, because like I said, nasty looking group. Might actually be a good time for Inferno Formula to hit everything. Uh, Ricky, I just, honestly, I just want you using your normal attacks. They're so good with the various buffs we've put on them. Okay, good job, Arthur. Alright, we've got this in the bag now. Nailed it. Alright, I kind of figured there might be multiple waves. We, hand, we can handle it. Yeah. Though I wish I'd gotten a chance to heal before the end of that previous one. Yeah. We're not looking great since we did not get that opportunity. Alright, better... You know what? Just use a salve. Heal everybody. Uh, oh, let's do a boosted Inferno formula. That should be effective. Beautiful. You'll do it, right? Get ready. I mean, we don't have much of a choice. Right, Oof, two of these. These are nasty enough, but two of them is a little scary. Boosting. Hit me with a boosted cure. What are these guys vulnerable to? I don't even remember. Let's just hit him with some Volt. Tell you what, Ricky. Do a boosted Ricochet. Jeez, she missed with two of them. Come on, Ricky. Get with it. Boost. Alright, hit the other one with your boosted Long Thrust. Um, do another salve. The breath of life. How about this? Good lord, how is this still alive? My god. I made a mistake spreading my attacks the way I did, but I didn't think that one on the left would survive through what I threw at it. Just die. God. Seems like Volt is improving especially effective against it. Maybe I should throw fire on it. And these things are almost mini boss strength. It's kind of crazy. A pair of them basically is mini boss strength. Alright, Arthur and Ricky are main damage dealers. 
next to uh, Dirge. Got a level. Uh, you did, Detective. You told us earlier to uh, just look at the first letter of every word. Hmm. See ya. Huh. Okay, bye. I'm kind of with you, Rakuna. <laughs> wow, low-key burn from Ricky. That was great. Huh, still wondering when those are going to come into play. Anyway, uh, time to farm scissor crabs for Rose's request. And at that point, I think we'll be ready to return to town, hand them all in, and then actually just go down these stairs and get to exploring the bottom floor of the third stratum. Okay, we've now killed enough scissor crabs. But I just realized one more thing before we leave. Oh yeah, that quest wasn't too bad. The scissor crabs appear to be a pretty common enemy here. Doesn't take that long to kill enough of them for the request. Uh, but like I was saying, oh, I put that in the wrong place. It's actually up here. My bad. Uh, before that, I realized there is another place I haven't explored. And it's whatever's on the other side of this flower. Also, I drew that wrong as well. Good lord. Okay, so at first it seemed like this is just a little sort of dead-end area on the opposite side of this weirdness, but Ricky alerted me to a secret passage here with her, hey, this place. Love it when my characters point out secret passages that I missed. Okay, so now we've completed every quest that we can currently complete, and I think we've mapped this floor pretty well. Let's see if the game counts that as map completion. If it doesn't... Got a solid okay, good. Nice. Now we can go back to town and turn all this stuff in. Okay, let's go back. Alright. <clears throat> let's report our request to Rosa. Let me have a look. Welcome back. Here is the list of requests. You were a great help. <laughs> Over here, please. I could see that being useful for like a particular boss fight where you really, really need to uh, bind its legs or something. Good for you. So I'm not going to throw that away, but I am storage, going to put it into storage because I don't think I need it right away. Who binds all enemy legs? That. I can definitely see that being situationally very useful. Very well. I'll look after you. All right, and now we've gotten level ups on everybody, so let's go ahead and apply them. Okay, Dirge. Almost have his defense maxed out. After that will be hit points. Rakuna, I had wanted to start really turning you into a proper secondary healer, but... Ugh, your defending just doesn't feel good enough anymore. My guys are still taking a lot of damage even when she's defending. Which means I need to improve her guards, but that's going to make it more expensive. Which means I need to increase her TP. Can't wait to try that. Just don't really have a choice in the matter. It's a shame. It's not what I wanted to be spending these points on, but I think it'll be the best decision. Uh, Simon, I feel like his cure is now pretty good. It's keeping up with where we need it to be. 
So let's start working on salve, I think. What is delayed heal? Source party hit points at the start of the next turn. Weird. CPR gives the party a chance to survive mortal blows with one hit point for three turns. Well, in any case, salve is what I want to improve next. Get it up to the point where the hit point, or I mean the TP cost, increases. Arthur, right. Well, time to bite the bullet on the ice formula. I know what I'm doing next. Yep, you are correct, Arthur. Cocytis formula. And then Ricky, it is time at last. Double strike is maxed. I think I want to work on Penetrator next. Get that activation rate up. And then probably High Caliber. Uh, higher crit damage sounds pretty good, actually. Just passives all around with Ricky. Like, we can turn her, we already have really, into such an absolute killing machine without ever having to spend a TP. It's pretty awesome. Alright, next, turn in quests at the pub. Hey there. How goes the job? Yep, all of them except the one with the golem. That's coming up soon, I think. Hey, thanks. But not yet. That golem is a nasty customer. He better be. Good god, no. Exotic is one word for it. Decent experience. How goes the job? Hey, thanks. Very strange. Looks like a whip that is going to be one of those low damage, but it inflicts a status with high chance things. None of us even use whips, so... No. Whoa! You have a clone! That's that's pretty weird, Austin. You could do a lot of creepy stuff with that power, I'm just saying. In that case. Are you even Austin? Maybe you're not Austin, if you can just disguise yourself as anybody, whoever you are. Who did this? Yeah, you, you kinda have. Barrow Doer. Interesting. In that case. Hmm. You're okay with that, right? Oh, you're going to be another guild member. Or I mean a guild keeper. Another guild keeper we can use, aren't you? Very okay. Well. I mean Rosa has certain qualities that you don't, Austin. Don't get me wrong, you're very cool. If a bit smug, but uh, yeah, there's there's just certain things you lack that Rosa has, shall we say? See ya. But welcome to the team. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Valerie. Uh, no. How goes the job? All right, one more. It's just a crab shell. Steel gauge. Is that even a decent reward at this point? Nope. Not for Dirge. Not for Rakuna. Eh, it's a trade-off for Simon. I would consider it. Ditto for Arthur. 
Strict improvement, big improvement for Ricky. Yeah, that definitely. Here you go, Ricky. Enjoy. Didn't realize that the equipment she had in that slot was so outdated and garbage. My bad, Ricky. Sorry. Anything new to say? Nope. Same dialogue that we've had for a while. Any new quests? Sorry, kiddos. I'm, I'm kind of glad to see that the answer is no. All right, good. We're done in here I'm for now. <laughs> the king of crime. Not really. Crime doesn't pay. Come on. Well, depends on the circumstances, I guess. <laughs> well then, let's go. Let's just put it this way. If you're living in a country that has decent sensible laws, then being a criminal is not cool. Alright. Now. Getting on another cough drop. It's resisting me. Here we go. Well, let's go see if he's really crashed our uh, our digs. Welcome back. Hey there. Oh. No? In that case. Hmm. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> See ya. That does sound useful. Yeah. Let's have him help us. All right, we have a new guild keeper. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's see what let's see what he can do for us. Prevent status ailments. Oh, that could be useful. I think that Rosa will be our go-to because TP restoration is fantastic. Do you he, need me? He loves to explain his logic to people. All right, what do you have to say, Austin? Hey there. Is there anything else? All right, so what can you do for us? Oh, do you have any requests? Hmm. No. Oh, geez, we have two guild keepers who will be throwing requests at us now. Good lord. You've made a wise choice. Oh, we don't even he have to be talking to him to get the uh, his options. What is fallback plan? The first negative status effect of the battle on your party will be blocked. That sounds not bad. Uh, but I don't want Rosa to feel like she's not wanted, especially since she's being recalled and we're trying to talk her out of it. I know, probably none of that is even an actual game mechanic. I'm role-playing. Uh, so... What? Thank you. I don't meet your standards. My apologies for the wait. <laughs> what? I don't meet your standards, he was saying. I didn't realize that, so I cut him off by accident. Like I said, Austin, you're cool. Rosa just has qualities you lack. Okay, well, that was productive. Um, I guess off screen I will uh, get healed up, get a cordial, and we'll start exploring B15. We definitely will not have time to explore the whole thing because clearing those quests took a while, even though I did a lot of it off screen. We'll explore as much as we can, so I'll join you for that. All right, and now with a mostly clear quest book time for the main event moment we've all been waiting for. Exploration of the bottom floor of the third stratum. Pretty excited. As I said, this has been a fun stratum and I've enjoyed the, the variety of the uh, theming, the sort of water theme. It's good fun and very beautiful. But I'm looking forward to leaving behind all the manual mapping of the water everywhere. What's up, narrator? Mr. Dungeon Master? What is it? There's a terrible threat here. Okay. Hmm. Aw, remain silent. We certainly agree to face the looming threat ahead. Do we really? Well, we're playing on normal mode, which gives us one 
do-over if we die. So let's see what it is. I'm guessing we're going to die. Hey. Interesting. I was thinking maybe it was something optional, but this is making me think it's mandatory, so maybe we won't die. I thought maybe the game was saying, hey, optional super boss ahead. You're probably going to get wrecked, but maybe not if this is story progress. Not an optional super boss like the uh, golem. Villain. I had almost forgotten how creepy looking you are. Why wouldn't I speak to her? We have no intention of fighting. Just because I think you're creepy looking doesn't mean I'm hostile. I'd rather that we communicate peacefully and amicably. Okay, she thinks I... She's she's more disgusted by me than I am by her, apparently. Hmm. Boils your blood with madness. You have a way with words, uh, plant girl. That's, that's a very hostile thing for you to do. I would have preferred that you not do that. Alright, calm down, Arthur. Yup. Hear me, Kolotorongo. Smite these vile intruders. Oh, good luck with that. I, have to do this. I, I do like this girl's way of speaking. Old-timey, what would you call that, Edwardian English way of speaking. It's pretty cool. The way she just sicked what is probably the boss of the whole stratum on us is less cool. I, I you know, we could have we could have done this peacefully, plant girl, but you had to be a jerk about it. And now I'm going to have to kill your god. Or whatever this thing is. Actually, hold up, hold up. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rakuna, you will indeed defend, but Simon... Do I have a Bravant? I do. Toss the Bravant on Dirge, if you don't mind. What are you vulnerable to? I guess we'll cycle through Fire, Ice, and Volt. I'm gonna start with Volt. Your, your water. I feel like electricity should work well. I don't even know what to try to uh, seal on this thing. Let's try Head. Ice Breath. Oh, that was pretty damaging. Okay, Volt was not effective. Given the amount of damage that thing just did with its opening attack, I'm guessing we're going to die. It's not, not a promising start. Okay, Volt sucked, um, and it attacked us with Ice. Try Fire. Oh, Ricky, if you could snipe its head, that'd be so clutch. Okay, it just used a very weak attack that time. At least it's not going to spam its best move on us constantly, then. The fire worked well, I think. Should have paid more attention. Okay, just another regular attack. That was effective. Okay, yeah, fire is doing well. Alright, pretty pretty routine so far. We're doing decent damage to it. It hasn't hurt us too badly after the first round. The first round scared me a little, but it's been very manageable since then. Oh, what's this? Elemental attack increases. That sounds real bad. I wish I had an item in hand that would increase my ice resistance. Maybe I have one in storage. Because I haven't really been throwing those away for the most part. They're very situational, so I don't want to cart them around taking up inventory space all the time. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been throwing most of them away. So, if we fail, I could look in storage and see if I have such an item. Coiling tail. So what did you seal? My arms, huh? Well, that's awful, considering everything that I do requires my arms. 
Well, um, unbind me, if you would, good Simon. Ricky, one of these days you'll seal its head. I believe in you. Okay, that was... Could have been worse, could have been worse. Too bad I couldn't do the delay cross combo there because of my sealed arms. We still did decent damage. Um, better cure me. And as much as I hate to have her doing something besides attacking, uh, Ricky Medic Bullet Arthur. Okay, never mind. Arthur's dead. That sucked. That sucked real bad. Not thrilled. Ugh, I need another cough drop. Ugh. Well, let's try to get Arthur back on his feet. Ugh. You know what? I don't feel like messing around with this. Just use a Nectar 2. As much as I hate to waste it. All right, yep, do a boosted cross charge. That sounds great. Uh, sure, do a boosted front guard. It's impossible to know what would be the best timing for that. All right, what is bound on you? Okay, you can do nothing. Um, do I have any Theriakas? Not the kind that undoes bindings. That was not, uh, not well thought out by me. So you're kind of useless this turn. Unless there's an item I can have him use. Nothing that I want to use right now. Well, increases defense could be quite useful, actually. So if he can't do anything better with his turn, increase Dirge's defense, and then maybe your own. Okay, uh, yep, keep fire formulating, and looks like it's medic bullet time from Ricky again. Wait, does that get rid of bindings? Ailments, but not bindings. There's nothing we can do for Simon. That sucks. That sucks real bad. Oh well. Simon's been rendered basically useless then. A little insurance. A little insurance indeed. Ugh. Well, throw a stone art on yourself then. And Ricky. Throw a medic bullet at Dirge, I guess. He's looking a little hurt. Oh, Dirge is dead. Lovely. A war of attrition. War of attrition's one way to say it. Well, that was my only nectar too, so. Hmm, this is looking real bad. This is not gonna lie, this is going badly. Uh, a Medica 3 on Rakuna. You revive Dirge, Ricky, you Medic Bullet yourself? Okay, we're gonna lose this fight. Well, we have a much better idea what we're up against. I'm gonna... I'm gonna want, uh... Ice Elemental Resistance, definitely. And, uh, another couple levels seem like they wouldn't hurt. I feel like we may have been underleveled for that. Either that or my builds are failing me now. They seemed pretty strong up to this point, so I'm going to assume still that they're not bad. And that just insufficient preparation and being a little underleveled was the problem. Chill Mist, does that provide the ice defense I was just saying I needed? Sure does, and I'm pretty sure I have more of those in storage too. Oh. And it's a good thing I do because there's nothing else of the floor to explore. It's literally just a giant boss arena. I was thinking there'd be this giant labyrinth we'd have to explore. Um. God dang it, I didn't even want to get in a fight. Ugh. Okay, well as I was about to say, we're not going to have the opportunity to level through exploration. So like I said, this, this is apparently a giant boss arena, this floor. Or at least if there's anything to explore, it's after where you fight the boss. 
So we're going to go back to town and we're just going to rely on being better prepared and having the right items to carry us through this fight. Okay, so the point here is just going to be to take items that will help us win and survive. And we don't really need to worry so much about inventory space this time around. Uh, because we're just going to fight the boss and then we're done. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to bring Medica 3s for giant heals. Uh, maybe I'll bring this Amri to 2 just in case someone runs out of TP. Uh, some Somas for restoring the whole party's hit points just in case, you know, Simon gets bound and we can't unbind him and he can't use Cell. Nectar 2s for full HP resurrects. Theriaka A's for removing bindings. Chill Mists for lessening ice damage. Blaze Oil for imbuing weapons with fire. And I think that should do us. Okay. Only seven? Did it only take one of each kind? Oh, that's irritating. I don't like the way that works. Ugh. Okay, I'll off-screen get the number of items I want. Grrr. Okay, so I grabbed a whole bunch of those items, and this time I'm not going to get the HP Restore or the TP Restore, because I don't think that running out of those things, well, HP is one thing, but I don't think that running out of TP in the middle of the fight is going to be the problem, so this time I'm going to have her prepare. I am at your service is the ginger life to increase our max hit points. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Rosa. Any words of encouragement? <laughs> oh, don't tell me you have a crush on him. Rosa, no! <laughs> have a safe trip. Oh well, clearly Dirge's one true love is Ricky anyway. Okay, so uh, I will meet you. Uh, for take two of the boss fight. All right, here we go for the big rematch. Wish me luck. Okay. All right, one thing that I forgot to do before, and we don't want to forget this, is use the Divine Gift to increase experience we get. Although I'm still thinking maybe I want to save that for the Golem. Yeah, you know what? Let's save that for the Golem. Uh, and instead, let's use some Chill Mist. To reduce the ice damage we take. And yeah, Simon, you're just going to be throwing items on people for a bit. Although actually, tell you what, Ricky, your first round job is going to be throwing an item too. Uh, throw some blaze oil on Dirge. Make his weapon fire element. Sadly, it got off its ice before Simon used the item, so I guess that's not one of the items that's automatically instant use. Alright, Simon, keep us topped off at all times. Uh, Ricky, you are going to use another Blaze Oil, this time on yourself. Okay, damage lessened. You'll be fine. All right, and now combo attack. Keep us topped off. I don't care if we're only slightly damaged. Um, all right, fire formula. And now that we've got blaze oil on our two physical damage dealers, go ahead and try sniping its head, Ricky. You know, that just doesn't seem to work. I wonder if I'd be better off having her use a normal attack and hoping to get double tap, to be honest. All right, Simon, toss a cure on Dirge. Yeah, you know what? It, sound, it sounds silly, but let's just go for double taps. Oh, that is no bueno. Oh, that was some good damage. She missed with the first one, but then her dual double attack triggered and the high critical triggered as well. So she did really high damage. That was great. Uh, y is info. Okay, the chill mist will last for two more turns. We're going to want to refresh that soon.
Oh, that is not good. We do not want our defender to have her arms bound. Also, yep, that double tap triggered again. So yeah, that's working out well. With uh, fire on her weapon and triggering double tap, Ricky's doing good damage. All right, delayed charge is ready, so cross charge this sucker. The fight's going a heck of a lot better with proper preparations. Oh, well, whatever's bound, it doesn't prevent her from... Uh... Oh, that's an interesting one. Raises the user's maximum HP this turn while taking all the party's damage. If we know something really nasty is coming, that could be a really good one to use. Okay, you have nothing better to do this turn, Simon, I don't think. So, toss another Blaze Oil on Dirge to extend its duration. Okay, good, good. Oh, it's her, it's Rakuna's feet that are bound. Okay, it's not that big a deal. Okay, uh, we're gonna need more Chill Mist to keep up our defenses against all that ice. And, okay, Ricky's gonna need to refresh her Blaze Oil shortly. Well, she can get off one more round of attacks first, so might as well. Oh, we, you know what, hold up. Change of plans, I need you to use Salve. And Ricky's actually going to refresh the Chill Mist. Okay. okay, good, and free Zora War off on it, so it's gonna. Its damage is not going to have the massive increases. Alright, we need more salve. And now, Ricky, go ahead and extend the blaze oil on yourself. Oops. Yeah, the blaze oil has worn off, so. Where'd it go? I have so much stuff in my inventory. There it is. I had more than that, but I decided not to bring every single one of them. I may regret that decision. How about this? Oh no, Raccoon is asleep. That's disastrous. Um, tell you what. Uh, use a Soma. I think that does more than Salve. I hope it does. And Ricky, we need you to wake up, Rakuna. Cannot have our defender asleep. Oh, Great Freezor is back on. Have some healing. Here goes. You'll be okay. Okay. Whew. Nasty fight, even with all these preparations. Okay, I need you to heal up, Dirge. Ricky, now you can actually go back to doing damage. Oh no, it's fire resistance increased. That sucks. Oh, good lord, did it ever increase. Arthur, we're fighting for our lives here. How can you be bored of it? Good lord, man. I did not expect it to increase its resistance to fire. That caught me off guard. Is there anything else useful that I can throw on my team? A Bravant. Yeah. Increases attack. Let's throw that on Dirge, because he never does anything but attack. Oh good, yeah. Well, I guess it's just going to have to be Volt, isn't it? Because ice shouldn't work against this thing. It uses tons of ice, and it's very fire resistant now. I guess Arthur can throw out items if his spells become utterly useless. Okay, good. It basically wasted its turn. All right, combo, go, go, go. Fight continues to be going better than it did before, at least. Uh, anything else? I doubt that Confusion will work on it. Could increase someone's defense. Dirge has been getting beaten up a lot. Wouldn't hurt to increase his defense, I think. 
I hope that's not just physical defense, because that would be depressing. Tell you what, try a boosted head snipe. I don't think it'll do anything, but... Oh, geez, Volt is hardly doing anything. Hmm. Should I try Bravery's Gift? I'm gonna try it. Hopefully that's not a disastrously bad decision. Oh god, Simon's asleep, for crying out loud. I need you to use Soma... Oh, Ricky's asleep too! Okay, Rakuna died, so maybe that wasn't a great decision. Oh no, um, disaster. Okay, uh... Jeez. I don't think that using Bravery's Gift was smart. I didn't realize she'd take that much damage. Good lord. Uh, do I have an item that can... Did I bring Theriaka Bees? I brought one Theriaka Bee. Well, we freaking need it, man. Okay, that woke him up anyway. So, useless. Oh, this is going all kinds of bad. Alright, use a Nectar 2 on Rakuna. Does this still have that effect on it? Um, how can I switch to my view of its effects? Reference? I'm wondering if it still has the anti-fire effect on it. That's what I'm not sure about. It might, so use a Soma. And I guess Ricky will try to kill it. Okay, so it's res fire resistance had been lower, but then it uh, then it just increased it again. Okay. Okay, let's not use Bravery's Gift. Good lord, that was a mistake. Give, your, ready. give yourself a boosted cure. So, Arthur, you've become useless. Maybe toss a Bravant on Ricky? Do I have another Bravant? I might have used up my last one that I had in my inventory. I did. How's our Chill Mist? Oh, the effect is gone. Okay, that's that's not good. Use our last chill mist that I brought them. Where'd it go? So much crap in here. There it is. And Ricky, whatever, just shoot it. Oh, but she can boost. Try to snipe its head. I would love it if you could snipe its head. Okay, that wasn't bad. Oh, okay, it's dead. Whew. Okay? We did it. Tough fight. Oh, I wrote it down. The battle's over. What? Yep, defeated your guardian god. What now, plant girl? We're not an enemy. You attacked us first. Villain. You, you sicked it on us. You tried to kill us. I don't think I like this chick very much. True. What are you talking about? What, what did we do wrong? <laughs> we showed up and she tried to kill us. We defended ourselves. What are you on about, Simon? What is this mysterious slate for? Hmm. All right. Okay, sounds good. But we have to find the geomagnetic field too. Well then, let's go. I feel like that's a higher priority. Ooh. Hey! That's an interesting way of spelling whining. Fool. We did it! Proper preparation made the difference between success and failure. But it was a tough fight even with all that prep. 
without it, I think that that would have been pretty unwinnable. Alright, I'm not going to spend a lot of time exploring this floor. I just want to find the geomagnetic field. We'll explore the floor later. Oh, good lord. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I see. So, the, uh... There is a whole floor to explore here, but you have to defeat the Guardian first. It's like a front-loaded boss battle. Interesting. Well, we're getting out of here. Okay, so we're done for now. I'm gonna call it an episode there. And uh, next time, I'm actually going to take another shot at fighting the golem, see if we're strong enough yet. Uh, and whether the answer is yes or no, we'll also focus on exploring the 15th floor. Um, Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this episode by reporting our completed mission. What brings you here to Rada Hall? So, interesting things happened. You have a report to make, yes? We are grateful for your hard work. Well done. Hmm. Oh, you mean the chief didn't think we're full of crap? Yeah, we we fought with them. Yeah, they attacked us. Well done. I'll make that decision for myself. Yeah, that, that would be a hard no. Hmm. No, we will investigate the ruin. Hmm. Uh, you okay there, buddy? There are medications that can help with that. Okay, we, he was easily convinced. Hmm. I hope this is of use in your investigation. Wow, that is a reward. And level ups for everybody. Wow, that was a ton of experience. Hmm. Sure. I mean, I was told not to tell anybody, but screw it. I think you deserve to know. That's an understatement. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you're Be welcome. Careful on your way. Was there something else? Ah, it's you. Okay. Well then, I bid you good luck. Glad that's over. Hmm. He was acting pretty weird. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I mean, he almost acted like he was possessed or something. Uh, he definitely seems to be hiding from something from us, and I'm not sure he's feeling well either. Well, I'll go with the first <laughs> option. Could he be that old? I bet it's the same guy. What's the Yggdrasil project? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. We did go over it in quite some detail. I thought maybe we hadn't gotten the actual name of it. I didn't remember if she said that's what it's called. So I ended up asking something that made me sound really dumb. Oh well. Maybe he's related somehow. Huh? Hmm. No, I think it's the same guy. Hmm. Ricky's still here. But, hello! I point frantically at Ricky. You're right. 
guys. You're right. We already know there are people still alive from a thousand years ago. Let's go. Okay, well, uh, let's sell some stuff. Hello. Hello. What you got for me? Okay, there's not much, but there is the huge fin. Ocean King Gauge, is it any good? It's not better than a Moss Brooch, even if it does increase your defense by a lot. Well, it is a strict upgrade for Ricky, but only by like three points? It's not that impressive, considering we got it off a of Guardian God. And we already got the hand... <coughs> Excuse me. The hand cannon for Ricky. The executor is a good attack increase, but Rakuna spends most of her time defending these days anyway, so... Yeah, I'm not really seeing much to get other than a new moss brooch, but... Who to give it to is the question. It would have to go on either Ricky or Rakuna. But if we give it to Rakuna... Her defense really goes down the tubes, does it not? You wanna put that on here? Yeah, it would go down by an enormous amount. 24 points. Hmm. That doesn't seem great. But on the other hand, it would give her such a massive boost to her TP. Oh, this is a hard call. Which one you want? Is there... Any better armor I can get her to really improve her, uh, her defense. Anything. She already has the best shield. No, nothing really that I can tell. You know, it may be worth it though. Look how crazily higher her defense is than everyone else's. I'm gonna try it. And if it just turns out she's getting killed all the time, then... Well, then I made a mistake and wasted some money and life goes on, I suppose. Here you go. Okay. Oof. Um, is there another slot we can put it on that would not reduce her defense by as much? No, it looks like the body aspis is giving 28 and the plate mail is giving 44. So no, nope, that was the best slot to put it in. The benefit is now I don't have to spend a lot of time improving her TP. Um, I can just increase her guard ability right away because she'll have the TP to deal with it thanks to the moss brooch. So th hopefully that was worth it. No new dialogue here. Thanks for the business. Any new quests? Probably not. Oh, do you have something to say, Valerie? Ah, it's going great enough, I guess. <laughs> That's an amusing, bratty Arthur expression. You know, the more I think about it, the more that head honcho really acted like he was possessed. Like it was two personalities in one body, and they were fighting for control. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just like last time. I mean, you haven't given Arthur reason not to think of you that way, Rakuna. Right. <laughs> I'm all right. Right. Okay, any new quests? Sorry, nope. Any new information? Nope. Now, any new dialogue? Nope. Okay. In that case, Come again, kiddos. we're done here. Next time, I'll take another stab at the golem. If I die, I just I, I won't put it in the video.
But if I succeed, then that's what we'll start off with. And success or failure, then we'll go on to exploring the 15th floor and I'll see you then.